I want you to make things or smooching the regular. I wish I was the special one. I wish I was a special girl with flames of green. I'm the field of what, what, what am I doing here? I hope to win this Yo, what is up? This is iGuru and uh, today I'm bringing you a new video and I'm going to feature the uh, advanced mode which is uh, another one of the new, kind of newish feature from Wargaming that they introduced like uh, maybe a couple of months ago and what this mode is, is essentially uh, 10 v 10 just like strongholds uh, but uh, this is only exclusive for tier 10s. Now this is part of Wargaming's uh, end game content features that they are trying to promote. They're trying to give back to the community of players that uh, like competitive gaming. They've researched all their tier 10 tanks and want to uh, play with them in a competitive uh, setting. Now the only difference with uh, advanced mode from the regular stronghold modes is you are 10 v 10 in tier 10s and it only happens at a certain certain time of the week which is uh, in our case Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays two sessions each time one at 9 p.m. one at 10 p.m. so what happens is at 8 45 p.m. everyone in the clan gathers up picks up uh, their players and forms a team and joins the advanced mode there you will be matched with uh, other clans uh, that also participate in this mode and uh, Wargaming has some kind of algorithm that tries to match you with other teams that are similarly uh, uh, similarly in in rank in personal rating or something like that in clan rating some kind of uh, smart matchmaking that they try to put you through and uh, the good thing about this mode is you don't really have to be in a clan to play this mode you can log into your uh, strongholds mode and uh, pick this mode out and join as a legionnaire you can join your friends clan if they're short on play short of players so this happens twice uh, on friday once at 9 p.m once at 10 p.m twice on Saturday, once at 9 p.m., the first session at 9 p.m., second session at 10 p.m., and same as on Sunday, 9 and 10 p.m. Now, the only difference, the only special thing about the Sunday advanced mode is on Sundays, it pays out gold. Yes, Wargaming is actually giving you an opportunity to play in a competitive setting and earn gold every sunday so this is a a nice feature a nice mode that uh, kind of gives back to the community it creates a whole new environment for uh end content uh players players who've, who've already researched all the tier tens they want they play they've played all the random battles that they already 
you know they're so maybe bored i wouldn't say bored but maybe they they're looking for a new challenge and uh, this is one of the ways that you can challenge yourself uh, playing in a clan joining some other clan learn how to work together earn gold it's a really fun environment now today we are we've been randomly matched and we are facing off with a clan a brand new clan actually they're from korea they just merged with the southeast asia server uh, with the a with the they used to have their own server these koreans but uh, they've been kicked off their own server and they've merged with the rest of the APAC, uh, APAC players, which means Australian, Australians, New Zealanders, uh, Malaysians, Thais, Taiwanese, um, some some from India, Bangladesh. So the APAC server is is uh, having a new influx of players from Korea, and uh, we are fighting them today. Now this clan is a. I've spoken to them. These guys are tournament players. They're very serious, and a lot of them have very good stats. So when we when we were matched up against them, we were kind of apprehensive and uh, you know worried about how we would perform against them because uh, we have multiple teams entered every advanced mode. I think in this particular session we have three teams or two teams out so we don't have all the best players all focused in one team but instead uh, we are more evenly spread out so that uh, our teams are uh, equally strengthened or have equal strength so back to my explanation on the advanced mode you play uh, this you play a particular team five games in a row and best of five basically you you try to win three out of five and you are the winner of the uh, the fight i guess it's it's like strongholds except you play the same opponent five times straight and five different maps you can't pick out the first map because the first map will be a random map so like for example we didn't know we were going to get this map uh, or else we would have brought super heavies so what we typically do is on the first game we all pick out the fast heavies and fast mediums and we adapt from there everyone does this every other team does the same thing as well now let's get into the game uh, we have taken the hill on uh, himmelsdorf and uh, we have information that uh, they look like they're going to be pushing from the uh, west side now i've decided to come down here and reinforce the west side to make sure that uh, we are ready for them when they push through it looks like they've taken the west we've taken the east the hill but there's no one there so we're expecting them to be um, coming down from the west side Guys, we, we need we need here we need we need to kill here. Yeah, I'm going back. Kill Batcha, kill Batcha. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, we need to go here. Please kill the bad head. Kill Batcha. This Batcha need to cap. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, this is not good. Back. Back to base, guys. 
Well, they took us out pretty quickly in that first game. Uh, the rest of my teammates couldn't wrap around quick enough and uh, we were caught out on our own. We got taken out and by the time our uh, teammates from the courtyard came over to help, it was a bit too late. They got wiped out instantly. And uh, as you can see, we lost the first game. And this is tank selection for the second game. Now we can select tanks now because we know exactly what map we're on. So we're in Ensk and... Uh, I've been instructed to pick up a mouse, I think that is, and uh, let's move into the second game. So we pick up the action three minutes into the game, basically we've decided to rush them down the 6 and 7 line with super heavies and try to get into their cap. Uh, there we, we saw them pushing down the 5 line and we decided to put a couple of mouses and an E3 and a T57 to hold the base while the rest of us push forward into theirs. And this is the position that I've taken up. I've decided to uh, get back here and try to cap them out if I could, force them to come back. Now we're doing quite all right here at the moment. Uh, we seem to be holding him out. And here comes a Type 5, oh my God. But what, what's going on? There's something going on with the Type 5 looks like he's lagging out or something's wrong with him so he looks like he's lagged out I've got nothing to shoot uh, the 183 isn't pushing me right now so I might as well try to finish off this type 5 uh, before he uh, logs on again and comes back to shoot me so while I have nothing to shoot at the moment I will try to kill him off before he comes back but here comes the uh, 183 now I'm gonna use my body to try and uh, defend my teammate uh, from getting shot because uh, he is a one-shot kill and looks like I've absorbed a lot of damage and the type 5 has awoken from slumber so now what I've decided to do is try to uh, get the tank but instead he's been taken care of so I'm gonna try and put one shot into the Type 5 and the Type Ooh. 5 Heavy has shot me again. I wanted to shoot this 183, the not the Type 5, and I finished him off. Okay, okay, Batcha, Batcha, go kill it. Go kill it. Okay. Keep okay. capping. High, high, high. Free eye. High. So the Batchat has gone to take care of the Type 5, I, I and uh, yes. for, we try to shoot. cap this out. Okay. And it looks like uh, we're going to be successful doing that. Awesome. So we did pretty well there. I did 3000 damage and uh, over a thousand XP for that match. And uh, we won that one. So we advanced. As you can see from the top bar, we've managed to push them back. And the next map is uh, Prokhorovka. And I'm going to be picking out the 5A. So we pick up on the action one minute into the game. Our plan of action was to rush the 1-2 line with a bunch of fast heavies and fast mediums while two back chats were watching the 7-8 uh, line. So this is me taking some damage as I try to make my way forward and uh, I've already lost, uh, taken two shots for my troubles. And what I'm going to do right now is try to shoot that guy that is spotting us, which is the bat chat. Make sure that uh, he gets punished and uh, make my contribution to getting him killed because we need to get rid of him ASAP because he's got the high ground. And uh, pretty soon we're going to get the call to push in into this bowl and uh, try to kill everything in it. But we're, with, we're sitting here waiting for the call. As soon as they clear up the 1-2 line and uh, that's the call to push and we will all move in. Now I'm on a one shot so which means I need to be careful about what I do. Try not to take any damage. Now those guys have seen me and they're trying to finish me off. So I need to take protection and that's exactly what I've done. And I can plant a shot on this patch end over here. Now I'll try to get down there and be hauled down safe. Try not to lose my tank for no reason. I mean, it's okay if you die. This was a real quick game. 10 to done in 3 minutes. GG. 
There we go, we won and we are leading them 2-1. to one. Now the next map is Abbey and I've been uh, uh, instructed to get into a mouse. And for this map, we actually have to attack them because uh, we are, as you can, if you're looking at the top bar there, you can see we are almost reaching their citadel, their palace, their castle. So the onus is on us to attack them, a draw, would mean they win, so we need to attack them. So let's get straight into the game. We are going to pick it up two minutes into the game. What has happened here is uh, we are rolling with a lot of heavy tanks and we decided to push the 1-2 line to try and get them off, to try and kill them off, but instead they have countered with a uh, team of light, uh, a team of medium tanks, fast medium tanks, and they're pushing right through the four five line to try and catch us crossing because we would be slow crossing so what we did was we turned around and waited around this corner for them but they didn't push all the way through they pulled back so instead what we decided to do right now is uh, continue our push up the one two and drop down into the water on the three line and try to fight them uh, try to surprise them in the abbey so let's get straight into that. Also, sir, you have to get up. Okay. it. Move this guy. Move this guy here, and maybe we can try rush. Well, 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 well. Before this guy is dead. So my idea was to I pinged on the map, and my idea was to get up to the two line and uh, drop down into the water and attack them all together at the abbey all of us heavy tanks it's going to be difficult for them to uh, take us down so we could probably try to surprise them well let's see how it goes eventually so we get information that uh, they have all gathered down at the uh, lower part of the abbey trying to uh, kill those guys our guys in the middle so all the heavies that was on the one two line immediately jump down and will try to surround and uh, attack them but however in the mouse it's uh, really slow i finally get my first shot in six almost six minutes into the game and then, then i got artillery being in the mouse uh, there's not much you can do in these kind of action-packed situations you just have to go at your own pace and uh, try to make sure that every shot you make counted so that's the i just did the best that i could do i had no shots on this guy but uh, i had shots on the uh, medium tank that was dropping down so auto aim and try to get a shot on him uh, before he gets away from me he finally gets killed pretty uneventful game uh, i make my way to the cap there's not much else i could do just sit there and wait it out well, in the end, we managed to clean them off and kill off all their tanks and uh, we move on to the next map, which is Himmelsdorf and I get to play in the mouse again. We're pre pre feeling pretty confident of ourselves. If we win this game, we win the entire series and uh, we would earn a lot more uh, industrial resources. Again, those industrial resources are used to go uh, buy you stuff, uh, especially those clan boosters that you use to speed up your credit earning free xp and crew xp and stuff like that all the good stuff so we're feeling pretty confident of ourselves 3-1 we can do it let's go and we're going to pick it up three minutes into the game uh, basically they have uh, created a wall for us to push into they've gone with a lot of super heavies defending their base and we had to win this in order to win the entire series which forced us to basically push into them so we decided to go up the one two line and push but unfortunately not our entire team was there because they had some uh, medium tanks that could have possibly uh, taken the opportunity to cap us out when we were pushing in so we had two guys defending the base which was uh, two guys too many we needed them here at their base attacking them unfortunately i lost my tank very early in the game i think i did about two shots of damage and uh, that was about it this game was uh, pretty much over as soon as i pushed in uh, because we knew that we were going to be overrun 
by the time our friends uh, from the base came up to help us, it was already too late. All our enemy had to do right now is just push out and kill, kill off whatever was left of our team. So as you can see, we got wiped out almost instantly. So we got wiped out and we lost that game. We failed to infiltrate their citadel or their palace or their base. And now it's time for them to push out uh, to try and get us. Now we still have a chance to uh, get to their castle if we win this next game. Uh, all we need to do is make sure that we don't lose. Uh, they, on the other hand, uh, have to attack us. Uh, they have to win in order not to lose their castle and uh, uh, lose more boxes than they need to. So we're back at Abbey. This time we are defending. We are about 30 seconds into the game, making our way into our defensive positions. But once again, they have rushed that five line. And this time I got, I get caught out and they managed to ammo rack me and do a little bit of damage two shots of damage in fact three shots of damage i try to get away and i need to repair my ammo rack and try to get to safety so they're playing this well being aggressive on that uh five line try to get a bit of damage out of me and uh, that was a good play by them right i'm going to fast forward this uh four times speed uh, just to illustrate to you that uh, we are in actually a defensive uh, formation right here. We don't need to push out to them. We just need to defend our base and uh, sit here and wait for them to attack us. We still have the advantage. But the mistake is being made here. As you can, if you're looking up the map on the minimap, you can see my team has decided to push up the 1 2 line. Uh, they thought that uh, they didn't have a lot of players on the enemy team there so they decide to push forward and try to kill them off this is a grave mistake because their entire force was there and it took us out easily we did not need to lose this game this was our mistake for pushing out our mistake for being kind of greedy and overconfident we did not need to uh, win this game we just needed to draw this out and on this map it's very easy to do just camp on the 1-2 uh, line easily draw this out and uh, win the entire series but instead uh, we got greedy and we pushed out and uh, lost this game unnecessarily I get taken out uh, pretty soon and it is GG for me and uh, there's three more guys on my team and uh, they go down pretty quickly as well and uh, let's get straight to the end so we won it in the end, but we didn't exactly make it to their base, to their citadel. And they managed to push us back, which means we did not win as many boxes as we hoped or as we could have won, which is probably around 30,000 boxes or 30,000 industrial resources. And uh, this that's it. This is the advanced mode. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you will get involved with your friends or your clan or be a legionnaire and join some other clan get yourself involved in in this mode earn yourself some goal and uh, opportunity to uh, learn some team play uh, team play games and learn how to work as a team and uh, enjoy your tier 10 fighting thanks for watching i'll see you again soon bye